Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com back again with another ROM and a flash review today with the Galaxy Note 2. Stick around, we'll get into it. So this is the Emotion Note 2 version 4.2 ROM for the Note 2, like I said, a lot of Note 2s. We're gonna start this up. Check out the boot animation by Ivan Designs. The ROM is brought to us by Pafcholini, I believe is how it's pronounced. If it's if I'm pronouncing that wrong, guys, I'm sorry. But it is based on the UBD MA3 firmware, Android 4.1.2. The kernel is also the UBD MA3 kernel. And uh, the modem though, you get a choice. There you go, you see you've got some custom notification sounds and ringtone sounds. Like I was saying, the modem you get a choice, you can either choose the DL4 or the UBDMA3. Under the hood we've got the usual rooted Diodex Zipline Busy Box. The developer has improved battery, improved speed, improved the volume, and several other cool new features that can be found in the Aroma Installer. I've updated this with all my apps and uh, my Google account and all that. Change the wallpaper. And I'll show you that. There are some custom wallpapers here that you can check out. A lot of cool ones. I really like that one, so that's the one I chose. You can save them to your system or set them as your wallpaper. So that's nice. You have the TouchWiz launcher right out of the gate. And everything is running smoothly. Got the modified dialer. As well as a modified keyboard. Why does this turn white whenever you go into landscape? It's black here, but in landscape, it's white. I don't understand why they did that. You'd think they would just have it black both times. One of those little Samsung quirks. You also have the AOKP SMS application here. We have the uh, quick access to a phone call there. As always, you can slide right to call or slide left to text message. This also has the modified multi-window application to where every single application on your device will work with the multi-window. You may be familiar with that before, the original multi-window application, only a certain number of apps would work in multitasking but now you can have any app running there and the way you add that is use the multi-window widget and just add an application and any application you can add even something like the flashlight application you have to kill your multi-window to for the changes to take effect and then you come in here, go to edit, and take one off, and we can add the flashlight. So now we can have our flashlight app going, and maybe Chuck Norris as well. We all know the magic word is please, as in the sentence, please don't kill me. Too bad Chuck Norris doesn't believe in magic. <laughs> I love these things, but I could, I could sit here and read these all day long. Get rid of our little multi-window there. Yeah. 
In the Aroma installer, you can choose to install the 23 toggle. I opted for the simple framework. Check out about phone here. Now, as I mentioned before, in the Aroma installer, you can choose between the two modems, the DLL4 and the UBD MA3. I should mention that I chose the MA3 modem and haven't had any issues at all. All in all, everything running real smoothly, haven't had any problems. Nice theming in the windows here. Uh, one thing I will mention is I don't have the touch sounds enabled right now because the developer chose to use a touch sound that maybe isn't the most pleasing uh, to hear repeatedly when you're going through your phone. Here it is. You know, I always commend the developers for throwing in new things, switching it up, adding new sounds and uh, transitions, that sort of thing. But this one maybe wasn't the best choice in my opinion. So we end up just turning that off. And no problem there. I do love though the notification sounds that have been added as well as the ringtone sounds and then the shutdown sound is great also. We'll play that here in a second. So uh, kudos to the developer for throwing in all those. With that being said guys I will end it now. This is the Emotion Note 2 ROM for the Galaxy Note 2. Here's the shutdown sound. which is very fitting. Love that. All right, guys, so this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. I appreciate you checking out the video. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook as well. I will have the link down below to where you can find this ROM over on XDA. While you're there, be sure to thank the developer. Maybe hit him up with a donation if you're feeling generous. All right, I'll see you next time.